Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 29 of my Lazio Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. Big game against Barcelona here today. And you would have noticed maybe in the previous episode that I didn't put music on the video. I experimented that with a few episodes in recent times, as you guys would know. But it hasn't really boosted the likes from you guys or anything like that. So I'm not sure if you really liked it or not. But either way, I've been trying a few things here and there like that this year. This year's cycle of FIFA and Football Manager. But it's remained around the same, like back this time of the year, uh, where everyone just drops the interest from the game. So I'm just going to go back to old school, just me recording, and it's just me, like like usual, just me recording uh, Football Manager without that kind of stuff, and yeah, just do my natural thing like I've done for almost four years. Next month, I would have been making videos for four years, Football Manager especially. I started Football Manager videos a couple months earlier uh, than FIFA uh, back in the day with FM 2012. That feels like ages ago, but uh, what a way uh, to market almost uh, with a big game here, or just to talk about it, just to, just to remember that, getting close to four years on YouTube, we have a game against Barcelona with Lazio, I'm not sure how we're going to win it, we got dominated against Man City at home, and now we're at home against Barcelona, and luckily Neymar's injured, so, but they've got other players that's going to be dangerous anyway, uh, we've got to make a change, I forgot to take one player off, Remy probably has to uh, be on the bench one way or another, Stefano Mauri, he might come on. I'll leave him there for now, actually. We'll drop out uh, Zivkovic. Hasn't been that great in recent times. So we'll just yeah, remove him, then just put Remy. And that will be it. Put Remy as last one, the most attacking player. But you can see there's a lot of lower conditions. So this is going to be tough. I'm not expecting at all. I just hope we don't you know, put out in an embarrassing performance, <laughs> to be honest. But obviously, I want to win. It will be a massive victory. Let's head into the game and see what we can do. So, guys, it does look like they're sticking with the 4-4-1-1. That's what you get with the change of managers as well. With Joachim Lowe playing that, yeah, 4-4-1-1. You can see Messi up top. Suarez behind him. Douglas Costa left midfield. Oscar right midfield. Uh, Rakitic, Busquets, uh, two central midfielders. I like that Mascherano is their centre-back, or one of their centre-backs anyway, because he can be exploited in the air. Like He's not good at all. Obviously, he's a good tackler, everything like that, good marking, but yeah, he'd struggle. So maybe Belotti uh, can get some headers and maybe get a goal. It would be amazing if we can somehow win this. And Danny Alves will be getting a year older as well. How old would he be now? 33 years old. But he's still not so slow, but just aging a little bit. Maybe mentally, uh, he'll be, not mental attributes. Generally, some older players' mental attributes go higher, but maybe they're mentally slower, if anything. So, yeah, got those instructions applied. We'll go into the team talk. And we shall say, assertively... We have a chance to move into a qualification spot with a win here. So I'm expecting nothing less. Oh, not too many amazing reactions. We've got to look for a bit more, especially this kind of game. I say I have faith in the players. So uh, hopefully get some good reactions there, as you can see. And then for the strikers, that will be just Andrea Bellotti. So yeah, not a bad team talk at all. No negatives. That's always good. Okay, throw in Jordi Alba, Rakitic here, Douglas Costa, Messi, Suarez. <laughs> just saying all these world-class players' names. That just makes me so scared. But a good save, and it appears as though we're going to defend this opportunity. Could we have a countering chance for us? Belotti! Okay, they're in space! That was a great opportunity for us. But it was well saved for them. So both teams having a chance... In the early in the game. And you can see there Sergio Aguero scores for Manchester City. They go top of the table at the minutes. As you expect, uh, they would beat Besiktas. So, looks like we will still be in Europe, most definitely. That's a good sign. Like, if we finish third, we'll go, yeah, Europa League. But, we can't give up right now a place in the knockout stages of the Champions League. But, Lionel Messi is on. Lionel Messi. What a save. What a save. By Geronimo Rulli. I was honestly thinking Messi was Messi can't miss that because he's too good. But, well, technically he didn't miss it. Uh, it was a good save. So, yeah, well done, Geronimo. 
And of course, Geronimo really is Messi's fellow countryman, so he would know a bit about him. And now, opportunity. Messi again. He's just too good. Lionel Messi is going to eventually find the breakthrough. But the more chances he does have, and the longer we don't concede, the better Geronimo Rulli's rating is going to be. At least until he concedes the goal. Now, it's Douglas Costa. But the chances they're having, we are defending. So that is a, a good sign. They haven't scored against us. Billia. But you can tell they are probably going to score. It's just, it's on the cards. But... I don't feel we've been completely dominated. We still need to create some opportunities ourselves. If we can get into half time, nil nil, I think that would be an achievement if you see the player difference, the quality. They have several world class players, and I don't think, yeah, you would say any of our players are world class. Just being fair, we have some good players, but you wouldn't say they're world class. I reckon Geronimo really, though, he'll be pushing towards. He's very, very close. Look at that. Nine rating for a goalkeeper at half time. You don't see that. Sometimes you'll see that at the end of the game, but that just shows you the crucial saves he's had. So Barcelona's actually had some uh, great, oh, great shots on goal, and that's something I got to realize as well, like, I used to think, uh, paying the big money for a goalkeeper won't be worth it, but it, <laughs> but it was different in this case, because I got him on a free transfer, on approach to sign, so I was like, yeah, I'll do it on this occasion, but I've always strayed away from that, like, spending big on a goalkeeper, I just think, yeah, you get a decent goalkeeper fairly cheap, I usually do go for ones on approach to sign, like, over the years in football manager, you can get, yeah, well, He's not old, he's a bit younger, but you can generally get older goalkeepers you know, on a free, so that's what I would do, so I could spend money elsewhere, but it just shows you he would be worth the money, so if we can get a goal, I make us favourites, <laughs> to be honest, if we get a goal, I don't even think we'll be favourites, but I'll say that, that should get some good reactions there, not any terrible ones anyway, but I think we, we need to say calmly as well, you weren't that bad, but I have faith in you once more. Yeah, that's, they have to be in a good mood, I like to think. I don't think we're going to win this, though. Like, we need to win it to probably stand a chance uh, to get into the knockout stages. But I want to see just a good... Like, we're not going to win the Champions League. Surely not. Like, you can just see the difference in quality in terms of dominating. But, yeah, that's where you've got to show you're a good manager at the same time. You can't just yeah give up. Big things can happen. Like, just say Leicester City <laughs> uh, this past year in the Premier League. Anything can happen. Oh, that was a great opportunity. So we've had a couple half chances in there. Well, not to the game, but the way I see it, they seem like, yeah, half chances on goal. We've got one clicker chance and Barcelona has one clicker chance. We're even on that. That's like a big stat a lot of people look at uh, when analyzing a game. I like to look at possession, clicker chances, shots on target as well. Uh, passes completed, very important. Tackles won. That's what I like to see. And look, headers won. Look at the difference. That's what I mean, 80%. Wait, wait. Can I change something? <laughs> funny, I find it funny when I say it like that. I'm like, wait when I want to change something. Let's float crosses in. Do we have a tall... We don't really have a tall striker. Andrea Bellotti's decent in the air, like jumping 13, heading 15. If he gets marked up against uh, Mascherano in opportunity, he should win the header though. And the other striker we have is Remy, and he's not really tall. He's kind of in the same boat. But he's 185 centimetres. That's not terrible. And heading 15 and jumping 13, strength 14, he is not terrible. But we won't go for that at the minute. Belotti hasn't done too well, so now we're going to change that to a complete forward. Yeah, just making slight changes there. But the good sign, we haven't conceded. Uh, defense, all seven rating, apart from Ruli, the big nine, uh, very, very good. Now, let's think tactically. I want to make some, there's always when I get in the mood, maybe I don't have to, but I, I want to make some tactical changes, maybe to change up, but things are going fairly well. We're on higher tempo, direct passing. I feel we can't dominate possession, like go slower, retain possession. We can't do that against Barcelona. They have better players. And yeah, be more disciplined. That's it, all these... Run at defense. I think we're going to take run at defense off. And we'll see. And yeah, it's, instead of looking for the overlap, we won't look for the overlap. We'll hit some early crosses in. Sometimes you just have to, yeah, make some changes like that. And we'll see see how it goes. And stick to positions. Let's try roam from positions. 
And we're on standard. Ooh, let's try on the counter. Let's just try and go on the counter right now. And we'll see if that can change things. Okay, Basta with the throw-in. Oh no, we give the ball away. We lost possession and Ruli saves us once more. Thank you, Geronimo Ruli. He should get a 10 if we don't concede a goal in this game. If he doesn't get a 10 rating, I'll be very disappointed. I'll be thinking what it takes for a goalkeeper to actually get a 10 rating. Probably need like a save penalty in that. Suarez Ruli makes another save. <laughs> He's so good. They've had nine shots on target and all have been saved by Ruli. Like I said, worth the money, especially if you can get him for free on that approach to sign. He's definitely worth Okay, he went a point one. Point one for those saves there. No way. That's ridiculous. He should be at least 9.5 right now, minimum. What do you think? Leave in the comments. At this point in the game anyway, what does he deserve? And if it's at the end of the game when we haven't conceded, yeah, do the same. But anyway, Andrea Bellotti hasn't had a good game. Let's consider what we're going to do here. I think we're going to take him off and bring on Lark Remy. And yeah, I was thinking something else. Nah, we just leave it like that. Complete forward. He's good at that. I was thinking Bode Keita. He could be striker as well. I'm just not really, I'm not really sure about that. I'm thinking. I'll leave it for now. I'll just make that singular change unless someone else. Uh, Red Mares. Yeah, probably not. We have to leave him on. He's quality player. We sign like he was a really big money signing, uh, big sign along with like in terms of quality. Yeah, him and Ruli are the big players we brought in. Lukash Bilia, he's put in a solid performance again. Yeah, not going to make it. See, I'm mean, you got to think more in these kind of games here. And we've still got the wing backs. We're still you might think hold on to a draw, but there's no holding on to a draw here. We need to get ahead of Barcelona. That's what we need to do right now. Or well, then we have to rely on Man City to beat them. And just, yeah, when you rely, when you have to rely on other teams and rely on it being mathematic for you to make it, that's, it rarely goes well for you. So, Radu, he gives away a foul there. Is it going to be a card? A referee just brandishes the yellow for Stefan. Here's Dani Alves now, though. Block any chances coming in? Messi eventually scored. That was probably on the cards, though. It, that was always coming. And it was just as we were making changes as well. So, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. But, yeah, it's, it's not surprising. Like, I didn't want to give up. I wanted to, yeah, have some hope we could at least minimum get a draw from the game. And, yeah, I don't want to say, oh, at least we're going to be in Europa League. Because Besiktas, you can't see them winning any games. And maybe against us, they're going to have to go for it. But, yeah, there's a good chance we're going to be in Europa League. But as I said, um, you guys are keep asking in the comments now for the Manchester United series. It'll, fit, it'll come after this season because I don't want to do two series at the same time. Oh, it's still a chance! It's still a chance! <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting it at all! Oh, my God! Oh, what? What? That's some lower league shit right there. You don't see that. Failed. Was that a cross or a shot in goal? Because like I said, that generally happens in the lower leagues. When a failed cross is like almost a goal. Whoa. And I think my voice was pretty high there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you're wearing earphones or headphones. Uh, that probably won't end well for you. But, oh, we're back in the game. We are back in the game to actually imagine if we win. I wasted my one other good reaction. I can't go higher than that. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Oh, but do I make... Ah, oh, Redu. I think we're going to take Redu off and Lulich, who I feel is a bit more attacking, and Superb Morale coming on. How about that? I think we'll stay on the counter. I think that's the best opportunity for us. Sebastian Drusi, we have to leave him on because he scored the goal. Sing Stefano Mauri, but... We shall leave it like that. <laughs> but wow, what a goal. I always marvel at my reaction, like after, like maybe a minute after, yeah, 30 seconds to a minute after I score with a crazy reaction. I was like, that's crazy. Imagine if we score again. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> I'm not ready to make a, to do a reaction. Oh, no. Arda Turan. No way. See, and now when that happens, I just feel like an idiot. Like, apart from when I normally feel like an idiot. <laughs> like, all the time. But, nah. Oh, come on. Are you serious? 
Football Manager is a crazy game. So guys, I think I'm just going to make one final change. Might as well be Bilia, I suppose, and we'll bring on Onazi. Onazi, come on and do something, mate. We'll just switch those uh, for a better role uh, for the players, especially Onazi. And we might as well go attack. I won't go overload. We'll go attacking now, and we'll go route one and pump the ball into the box, shoot on sight, be more expressive, and we'll see what that will do. But then also, in Barcelona's point of view, they did what they had to. They had to win this game as well. If you think Barcelona's point of view, if they didn't, if it stayed a draw, yeah, we would have still had an opportunity. And that's almost another goal. But <laughs> yeah, Gerona really, you can't fold him. Conceded two goals, but still going to have over a nine rating. You know, you've had a good game when that's the case. And none of our defenders, that, that tells the story as well. None of our defenders have poor ratings and we've conceded two goals. It just shows you, yeah, Barcelona, their quality was just, yeah, too much for us at the end of the day. And this, mm, yeah, this is probably going to be knocking us out. Oh, Remy! Is this a good, does this count? You can't score this late in Football Manager. Oh, Joaquin Lowe is going to go crazy. Um, after, um, yeah, his general hands down the pants and sniffing uh, maneuver, maneuver, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just surprised. Oh, it was like right, there was like one second left before it would have hit three minutes. So, no, I was just about to say, but we, we, we would be officially knocked out. Well, not officially, we'll just make it really hard. But we're back in the game. <laughs> this game's been absolutely crazy. And massive applause to Geronimo Rulli and also Dusan Basta, who created both those goals with the assists to give us a chance. See, oh, that's a crazy thing about Football Manager, I swear. I'm happy with the performance. Who would have thought we could get a result against Barcelona, even if we don't go through? Because we've still got to play City and Barcelona away. So, yeah, that doesn't look too likely. But... We take a lot from that, and if we do go into the Europa League, which looks odds-on, because again, yeah, beating Man City and Barcelona away from home, it would look really unlikely. That would that would give us some confidence, I think, to probably go on uh, to win the Europa League, considering the teams who would be faced against. And honestly, guys, this has to be one of my best free transfers ever that I can remember. I'll probably have to go into the archives and maybe my FM08, FM09 had some legendary saves there, picked up some good free transfers. But, yeah, that's amazing. Geronimo Rulli, 20 million, or 20.5 million. Amazing, a player of this quality. What a don. Just look at his rating, 7.77 in the Champions League. <laughs> when conceding seven goals as well. You won't see a rating like that, surely. 7.77 from conceding seven goals in three games. Surely not. That's absolutely amazing stuff. Yeah, uh, doing a good job for us. Great signing. Maybe leave in the comments who's been uh, your best approach to sign or free transfers in your history of playing Football Manager, maybe what's their highest values? Because that's probably one of the highest for me. Yeah, 20 million. But next game we have against Cagliari, uh, five days away. So a little bit <laughs> a little bit of time for the players to recover and at home again. So I think uh, we'll get some confidence and we should be able to beat uh, Cagliari. Also, an update of our hot prospect. We got through the youth intake last season. Gianluca Balfiore. He looks like he's coming along well. See, you have a few of these younger guys in the squad. There's something I've been thinking. When I do stop this series at the end of this season, I start my Manchester United one. Do you want me to leave a link in the description for you guys to continue? And then that might allow me just to play it privately as well. Like, I'll be really interested to see how this guy comes along and maybe a few of the other younger players we have. So leave in your comments if you would be actually interested to, yeah, play along uh, with this save. Or not play along, because I probably won't be playing it anymore or for YouTube purposes, most definitely. I'll be moving on to Manchester United. But, yeah, would you like to play it? Leave your thoughts in the comments as well for that. Oh, would you look at that? Empoli have defeated Juventus. Couple penalties in that game as well. Uh, other game, not really relevant. 
uh, like Pro Vaselli, they're ninth. I think they're doing pretty well. Newly promoted side this season in this in this save. So, yeah, they're doing well. But Empoli, they're a dangerous team, though, because they're fifth. They've won their fair share of games this season. Uh, lost. Juventus are still first, of course. But if we win, we could go on equal points. That's that's what I need. That's what I need from Juventus. I need them to lose a few games uh, this season, and we need to take advantage. Like we got Cagliari, then yeah, Pro uh, Ver Sal. Is it Bro uh, Pro Ver Chali? I think that's how you pronounce like the C and the E. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments anyway. But either way, yeah, big game next up against Cagliari. So now into that Cagliari game. They're sitting in 18th. Only won two games this season out of the eight in the league. Definitely, yeah, this has to be a victory for us. There's some other teams that want to win as well at Roma and Inter. Roma's playing away from home against Napoli. That's going to be hard. Inter against Frosinone. They should win against Frosinone, but away from home could be a tricky one. We've got to win it though. Uh, what's this? We don't really need to know that. <laughs> Fitness test, not really too important. Uh, pretty strong team. Like I said, only injury. You can see there is Ricardo Kishner. Andrea Bellotti will start this game. Bolde Keita, think about him or Philippe Anderson. Ooh, tough. Philippe Anderson's been pretty decent recent times. We'll give him the go. Any other changes I've brought... Onazi in, you know, he wants to play a bit more, so he's into the team, and that will be it uh, for any major changes, I think, so we will head straight into it. And guys, you can see they are playing a defensive 5-4-1 diamond wingback formation. Again, we should really look to go on the attack here, so we'll go to the team talk, and we'll go from standard to attacking mentality uh, to try and dominate the game. And what do we suggest? It says, encourage the players to prove a point. Hmm, I want to not ignore... Yeah, th that would be that. Uh, prove a point. Which one would these be prove a point? Because I don't think I can read pre prove a point there. But anyway, let's just say we are favourites here. So go out there and impress me. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> let's just start the match now. Okay, throwing for Redou. Finds Bilia, who goes back to Redou. Perfect. How about that? Belotti scores an early goal that was creative. Just It was a nice and quick goal, wasn't it, as well? That's what I like to see. So we'll take a look on the 3D replay as well. You can see we pushed up uh, with the 20 points now. Well, we haven't pushed up. We're on equal points. See, he got the ball back to him. He got that low, dangerous cross into Belotti. He needed that goal, Belotti, as well. We'd like to see him go on a run of scoring now. Had a bit of a you know, average run. Goal kick from Storari finds Capuano at left back. Muru now. Muru is actually one of a decent player they have. They don't have too many. <laughs> he's a younger player though. Auburn. Oh, he's been a signing. What a signing he's been for us, yeah, in this save. Zivkovic. Yes! Drossi! He as well. See, that's what I mean. I'd love to see these guys develop. And if you do actually play this save and you continue on the seasons, and yeah, maybe show me how it's done. Show me how it's done, like play 10 seasons or something like that. And show me how this team has developed if you do go on to do that. And maybe you message me on Twitter or whatever, uh, pictures, if you do in fact go on to play it. If you actually are interested to do that, if that's, if that's the case, if you want me to upload this save at the end of the season. Yeah, just it will be a nice thing. That's what I'm basically trying to say. It will be a nice thing to see these kind of players and see how they go with Lazio. But... Can we intercept here and maybe get another chance? We're forcing them back, which is a good sign. And we should win it. We do. Auburn, Drussi, Onazi. Because personally, I would love to see this team uh, win Champions League. And how it develops. Oh, so close. Finish. Yeah. Come on, mate. Philippe Anderson. Third goal today. Just before halftime, we've got the three goals. Very impressive. Almost scored there. Very close, Belotti. But look at that. Philippe Anderson. <laughs> Look at that finish. He had all the time in the world to execute that exactly how he wanted. Okay, it's a corner. Bilia, can we make it? Four! Auburn! That is four goals before half time. Oh, we're going to push up. I was noticing the goal difference as well before the game, and I didn't want to talk about it because it wouldn't really make a difference. But we're going to get closer by that, most definitely. 
And what a performance. Look at that. All single goals and assists. That's why I love sharing it around. The body language is looking excellent. A lot of players calm. There's confident as well. And Geronimo really just seeming professional, not having to do much in this game. He deserves his rest as well from what he did in the previous one. Passionate. We have to praise the lads, really. It's just I'm very happy with things are going. Uh, keep it up, lads. Okay, Billy, could it be five goals? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if we'll get something from this. Redo. Back to Bilia now. Oh, dangerous cross. It's another goal. Come on. Andrea Bellotti. Five-star performance. This is just... It's f faultless. It's a game he should be winning, of course. But we've executed what we've had to tremendously. But I will be wise here. And I may sub some players out. Maybe in a lower condition. Or even Stefan Radu here. Well, he's on 75%. He's on a yellow card as well. So bring on... Sanad Lulic, Onazi, he, oh, he's on a yellow card, but yeah, he's going to put in good performance here, so yeah, I'll be happy with that from him, I think Sebastian Drussi, because next game, yeah, not, I think it's very close, uh, very close in terms of days away, so we'll bring on Stefano Mauri, so we'll confirm those changes now. Okay, it's a corner, we have to defend this, are they going to score a goal? No, Rulli defends it. It's good for him to do that because he wouldn't have had much work to do in this game so far. So it's good to see he's alert and alive to it. And yeah, doing his job for the few minutes <laughs> that he's only needed to in this game. But we'll bring off Billy now, 71%, the lowest. And oh, Savage, I'm just going to bring on Savage because I have a feeling you guys want to see him play a bit more uh, then oh, I'll probably bring on Danilo Cataldi would be another option just to see to see how he goes more than anything. Uh, Savage, he uh, deep line playmaker, he's like advanced playmaker. I'll put that on support. Yeah, not a bad role for him to play. And he's a guy, yeah, he could definitely be over the next few seasons. He could be a good player, like I said, if I were to upload this for you guys um, uh, to play uh, yourselves for yourselves to download. Yeah, he'll be a key player. Okay, start of another opportunity here. Only 15 minutes remaining. Basta. Belotti took the shot from that angle. I think that was on target. He did well to do that. Look, 11 on target in this game. Five clear-cut chances. And I don't think I mentioned it at the end of the game against Barcelona. We actually had one extra clear-cut chance than Barcelona. I think it was like 3-2. to two. So, it was a convincing performance for us. We did deserve what we got from the game, the point. But at home, yeah. It's a game we needed to win in that occasion, but it's Barcelona, you know, <laughs> so it's hard to win. But we took some confidence out of that. Can we counter and get a six goal in this game? Muru wins the ball back. You can see his talent there. He's a good fullback. Valley. Come on. Don't let them through. Oh, that's disappointing. Allowing Barisha to score. Veton Barisha, sixth goal of the season late in the game. Ah. Uh, Defence and goalkeeper will be disappointed with that. We really deserve a clean sheet with this kind of performance. But we're going to... We're going to go... Uh, I'm not going to... We are home. I'll say we're going to go home. Well, the players, at least to their homes, they're going to go home. Yeah, feeling like uh, they've played pretty well, at least. That's a positive sign. We've had a dominant performance and scored five go five goals. Like, that's that's a good game, any way you look at it. In the league. Can we score six? No. So close there. We've had 30 shots in total. How about that? But yeah, when you create five clicker chances, yeah, you can tell your dominance there. Belotti, unfortunately not to get a hat trick, but yeah, it was a nice victory. Uh, we had a solid game. A lot of players with high ratings. That's what you love to see. Only player that didn't really was Rulli, but he got that in the previous game. So he's done all right. And guys, take a look at the table. We're still second, but we're on the same points as Juventus. The good thing is, I feel it's going to be a good season, this one. And there's like still a lot of episodes. I think I mentioned that in the last episode. Like, there's still a lot more episodes to go in this series before I start my Manchester United one. Like, who knows, yeah, what can happen for the rest of the season. So, yeah, a lot of interesting episodes to come. Goal difference only two as well. We'll have some big games. We'll need to get results in against uh, Juventus, of course. And, we, and so they can't. We can't let them beat us. That's a big thing. Uh, Bilia, experienced player for us, doing well. But yeah, pretty satisfied with the results in this episode. We avoided defeat against Barcelona, then dominating performance in the league against Cagliari. 
uh, to fight for the title. Uh, yeah, Champions League, obviously, you can see, yeah, we're probably not going to win Champions League. But if we get knocked out of Champions League, finish third in the group, do you think we could win Europa League? And do you think we could win the league? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to drop a like on the video if you do enjoy these football manager videos from myself. It really does help the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.